gonna be trying to shoot as many pigs as we can today. I'm gonna have to cover about 150 meters. I think the arrow even went through into another pig. Morning boys, today we're going to be shooting pigs. Don't care how big they are, don't care if they're boars or sows, we're just going to be trying to shoot as many pigs as we can today. So it should be good fun. Going to be using these big 200 grain iron hides. Got lighted knocks on the back. Let's get straight into it. Of course, that's always the way, isn't it? The, that, the day that I'm not chasing buffalo, be easy stalk, easy shot. Yet to hear or see any pigs though. Keep working our way along, try and not spook these buff. Meh. Oh my god guys, that was chaotic. These cockatoos were just losing their minds. That happened so fast, didn't have time to get the GoPro going or anything. That boar just busted out of some, well he didn't even, he wasn't spooked, he just come running out of this thick stuff and then started feeding out in the open here. I was already within 50 so I quickly just ducked down beside this tree, just in a kneeling position and he was feeding further out into the open so I thought I was going to have to follow him out there and then all of a sudden he just turns around and comes straight back towards us. And then I was fumbling trying to change my sight and get the camera focused and whatnot. Before I knew it he was within 15. And then I tried to draw, draw back, he spooked, I think he heard the click of the hinge. And then he was, he was moving as that shot broke. That was the first time I've tried using that hinge on a moving target. Uh, I wasn't... As soon as the shot hit, I was not happy with it. I was like, oh, it's too far back. But that big 200 grain just punched right up into the vitals, obviously, because as you've seen, he, he went down within 30. So, pretty lucky there. Definitely wasn't my best shot. Yeah, being down at ground level with him, you know, when he was that close, he looked, he looked real solid. But we'll go over there and we'll have a look. Alright guys, here he is. He's a bloody solid boar. He's got pretty decent headgear on him. But, as you can see, the shot was too far back. Even though it's heavily quartering, I'm really not happy with that shot. Need to practice on my moving targets with that hinge release. It's definitely a, 
a different feeling when you're trying to shoot a moving target and you can't command the shot at all. It's, uh, yeah, it felt pretty strange, especially, you know, it was it was so chaotic trying to run the camera and, and all that when it was in close range, but it's no excuse. I never like to make a bad shot, but luckily the, the iron hide looked after us here and had him down within 30 seconds. Alright guys, well, it's about lunch time now. It's super hot, it's like 36 degrees Celsius. I haven't seen any more pigs. I'm, I'm really hoping to be able to hear them. I'm hoping they're making some, some noise and squealing and fighting because I'm, I'm not following a very specific area. Like I'm not following a dry creek bed or anything like that. I'm just following essentially a huge big wide finger of bushland. So I'm just taking it pretty slow, doing a lot of glassing, doing, doing a lot of listening. That's pretty much the plan. We'll keep we'll keep doing that. All right, guys. We've just spotted one pig. Can't really tell if it's a boar or not. But like we said earlier, it doesn't matter today. He's just out in the open, out in the mud flats. See if we can get in and. Get an arrow in him. That boar must have just caught a glimpse me because I was walking directly in the sunlight and he didn't, didn't know what he saw. He paused for a second and then he just sort of trotted off. I tried to follow him into the bush but I don't know where he went. <laughs> Guys I can see a few pigs probably 200 meters up ahead. The wind's really bad at the moment so I'm gonna hook around try to get downwind. I haven't seen anything for hours. It's stinking hot. I haven't even turned the camera on for a bit an hour and a half. So finally, we found something. Fingers crossed this wind just plays the game with us.
Oh God. Oh, fuck. I've had to work for that. It is so hot. Oh, thank God. Those pigs were kind of on edge. Luckily, they didn't spook and they fed around to 40. Smoked that pig that I shot at and I think the arrow even went through into another pig because I swear as I was running off, I could see another pig squirting blood. But I have no idea where it hit on the other pig. One of the pigs went down. I saw where the others ran to, so we might go have a look at this pig and then I'll go see if I can find the other one that it hit. Because I dare say, with the amount of blood I saw, that that was a double kill with an arrow. But i got to find the pig first. Hey guys, well, I just found that arrow. Just here where that, where that shot was. Kind of sucks the arrow's broken, but at least we got the broadhead back. Hopefully it'll focus. Perfect. Now, like I said, I, I swear I could see blood coming out of a second pig, so I'm not sure whether I actually was looking at the pig that I shot or whether I did hit two. I won't really be able to tell until I get home and look at the footage properly, but probably go and have a look for those pigs anyway after we go and look at this one it's quick quick look at that that pig what is he little sow not very big perfect shot that was the exit See the entry just there, perfectly on the shoulder, hopefully that was in frame. Perfect shot at 40, but yeah we'll, uh, we'll keep moving, we'll see if we can get, get back onto those pigs. Guys, we've got a big mob of pigs, they're in quite an open little spot here. I'm going to have to cover about 150 metres in, in the open, there's cockatoos everywhere. I'm just going to go for it because we're running out of daylight.
All right, guys, I'll make this quick because you're looking straight into the sun. It probably doesn't look too good on camera. Here's that sow. Fortunately, she's the only one we got out of those, but this makes three for the day, so pretty good nonetheless. That's the exit. It was quartering two. The entry's just up here on the front of the shoulder, so perfect. She went maybe 50 meters and piled up. So we've got a lot of ground to cover, so I'm gonna keep moving and cross my fingers we can find some more before it gets dark. All right, guys, well, that's it for today. Didn't find any more pigs, but Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.